I have copies um, in front of you of the specs that we sent out. This sheet here is the specs that were sent out for the bid. Um, the second copy in your yellow Mallory, I think it should be paperwork, yeah. The second copy um, is the only bid that we received. It has proposal at the top. Um, it was from Woodsmith Customs, uh, Luke Smith, $26,500. You know, um, I, I've got a, a little bit of information if you'd like to know that about Mr. Smith. He worked for a company in Knoxville called Finish Points. They do custom woodwork uh, in, in $200 million homes in the Knoxville area. It's high-end custom woodwork. He worked down there since 2007. A year and a half ago, he moved to Rogersville, where his wife is from, and um, he still subcontracts work if uh, Finish Point gets a job that they think Luke is, um, he's good at detail work and, and replacing things. They, they subcontract him to do jobs still for them. Um, he said he started building houses and working with woodwork at the age of 15. And um, right now, he, he works for himself uh, doing wood work and construction here in Hawkins County and, and surrounding counties. Uh, Mr. Smith has in his proposal, uh, well, it was part of the, the specs that went out that these windows be back to the original. They have to be like the windows that are there. All that. Uh, delicate work you see in the middle that's all wood and a lot of that is rock so he's going to have to build that back and he's going to do this if you'll read the specs uh, the way we bid it out is they remove one window at a time he's going to start with the window that's missing the glass work his way around and his last window will be the front window uh, so we don't have the courthouse all the windows boarded up at the same time you know we're always just going to be working on one window but I need a, a motion for you to accept this or decline it and then tell me where we go from then now I just want to make sure that you all understand that that piece of glass fell from the window stuck in the ground of the courthouse lawn it's been a lot of people down there. Um, if you did it break? I mean, it did not break. I've still got the glass. Pardon me? All the glass are good. Yeah. There's, so there's a... Just taken out, replacing all the wood, putting the glass back. Yeah, there's a couple that are cracked that are going to have to be replaced. And it's part of the specs. If you'll sit down, these specs were pretty, pretty detailed. They can only break. I mean, if they break so many panes, they have to you know, replace them because we want to use the, the panes that are in there as much as the original materials as we can. Um, if it's not, if they're not put back the way they are, if we <coughs> somebody else that didn't do custom work and wanted to do something different, that would have to be approved through the Historical Preservation Committee of the City of Rogersville. Well, I, I think we need more than one. Bid. Well, that's all we got. We put it out for bid. That's all we got back. He's the only one that showed up that day. Too. He was the only, you know, he's the only one that even submitted a bid. It's not going to be an easy job, that's for sure. He proposes, uh, looks like he has insurance. He does have insurance. I mean, if you'll just read the specs really quickly uh, to see. As high as that bed is, if he broke one glass, he ought to be responsible for replacing it, as far as I'm concerned. But, you know, it says Anything. he's going to lie. It allows him two per size. And, you know, I'm not familiar. I can't remember right now, but. I mean, when they say size, they're not talking about that one size. There's 
how many sizes do we have on that one side? It's either nine or thirteen, right? Yeah. See, we, I mean, he could break a lot of glass, and still, and still, we would have to pay to put it back. And okay, I don't no, know. No, no, he he has to pay. If you break over two per size, right? But if he broke two per size, we'd still be paying for those. And this is what I don't understand: is Charlie and I are a little bit familiar with what we're talking about. And he's proposing to do everything from the inside. Well, if he does everything from the inside, he's probably going to break a lot more because if that one fell out already, you get up there and start trying to take the rest of them out. <laughs> Possibility you're going to see several of them fall out if you don't have somebody on a lift on the outside and working from the inside and the outside at the same time. I mean, I. That would be my thinking. I don't, I don't so know. So, you got someone else in mind? Dr. Perkins. I'm going to ask a question whenever I can. Yeah, go ahead, Key. I just like to ask Sarah, how many different companies are there out there that she knows of that does this type of work? I mean, this is pretty complicated work. It, it is. Lonnie Foster would be another one that I would highly recommend, but I ask him. Of, about this and he, he he wouldn't do it at all um and again mr smith we are and uh he don't know what he's getting into uh when kip went up there to just to try to put up a board to block the pain that's what he nailed into was rotten i mean he may have to build every window back the way it is and some of the wood around it. I mean, well, I'm he, sure that he will have to build every yeah. window. I don't think right. so. But, you know. That's still a lot of money for it. It is a lot of money. Now, I know, I know the, uh, you mentioned Kelly, it's Kelly Brander. I talked to him yesterday. I didn't know his son was. Kelly called me back when we first started talking about this and said his son would be interested in bidding on this. And see, he had, we had somebody come up here that you sent, and Kip went over there with him and he he looked at it, but I never did hear back from was. He, you had sent him up here. Oh, I'd sent him up from him? I didn't know he was coming. <laughs> that was that was back before my husband got sick. I could I could call Kelly right quick here if you want me to and see if his son would still be interested in looking at it or putting and see if he did come up. Yeah, that's what I mean. If you want to. And but he would have to, you know. Yeah. He would have to work submit off of our specs. You yeah, know. submit and go to the specs. But I mean, it's just. Clearly, we also have to have references. Also. Well, we don't have anything to call him and see him when we talk about. A lot of it's four. There's one on each side of that tower, Ray. It's like four. And, and I don't know what we're talking about length wise or how many sizes. I don't know. Do you know, Charlie? How would that be? No, I mean, I've been in it, but I don't remember. That's been years ago. It should be part of the specs. It says 50 and an eighth inch windows. With 13 pines per window. I thought it was 13. Four windows with 13 panes each. It must be really good for placing an ox field once we to contract out. Well, he's, he's a woodworker. This yeah, is he'll, the, take, this is the he'll, he'll take those glass panes to his shop and fill the window and then bring it back up here and put it in. It's what he will do. And of course, yeah, I've got a woodworking shop. I can do that. We know I mean, me and you both could do it, sorry, but, but, I, but I would want to. Exactly. <laughs> we if we done it, we'd have to do it on double well, price. I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you guys should just do it for us, and then not charge us to do it. We just buy the material. <laughs> we'll be done. Yeah. Uh, there we go. Won't you, won't you call? Well, if he he may be on job or may not have signal. 
I can touch me. I'd like to know whether his son did come look at it or not, you know. Yeah, because Chang didn't provide a reason, and that's pretty much all Because I did talk to some, I, I talked to somebody else, I don't remember who it was. There was a gentleman that came, he took him because he said, I want to go look at it, and I said, why don't you wait till we get the specs written because uh, we're going to have to write the bid for specs. And he said, I'm just going to look at it now because I don't think you'll have to put it out for bid. I think I can give you a quote that you don't have to do a bid. But, uh, I never did your background. Right? It was only a little thing. Uh, so at this point, uh, you know, I would like to check with Martha to see what our purchasing Ten thousand dollars. Anything over ten thousand, we have to bid out, right? This was bid out. We received a bid. Uh, you know, to, yeah, and, and now he's going. You know, they're going to know how much his bid is. Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Would he want to come down and talk to Sarah? Now, what he'll have to do would be submit a bid. Uh, look at it, he'd have to look at it and then submit submit a bid to Sarah uh, here in America. Would he want to do that? I mean, we, well, what it is, we've got one bid here is all we, we got. And we, you know, we like more than one bid. We got these people to know how much this bid is. That's not fair. This doesn't seem proper. We just have to put it out and read it. We just have to reject this bid and read it. I don't feel like we should do it this way. I feel better about it. See, the only thing we can do is we'll tell this bid and read it and give this guy an offer and read it. And I don't know if that would be fine or not. But anyway. Oh, I know. So. You can talk to him. And, I'm asking that the, uh, the committee. No, the mayor's office. Except the bed. Uh, and, that's uh, what I'm asking. Or, 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 when you I go to the call the mayor's office, they give you Sarah's number. And you can talk. But, Jordan, we've got to have something done right now that we can't wait for a long time. We've got no. Uh, if that window falls out and hits somebody. It's a miracle it didn't hit somebody in the head. Because. <laughs> hey, really? Yes. Got that. We'll be voting on it in a meeting. So we need to be voting on it. a resolution in my right. And then it will be. Uh, the resolution's not been turned in. You don't have to turn in the resolution for the project then. Three, I believe. Yeah. On uh, punch number three, and I know Sarah. I believe. Yes. And yeah, we, we, need, need, we need a bid pretty quick. If I remember correctly, if we vote to reject this bid, that guy gets paid for what he did already. He does. Uh, we like, we paid him for how service. much was that money? It was $300. Three hundred dollars. Okay. Yeah, three hundred dollars. If we owe him. Okay. Sounds good. Exactly. So he will, he will automatically get paid for that, correct? He automatically gets three hundred dollars if we reject this bid. And if we reject this bid and we bid it again and nobody else but him bid again, that three hundred dollars is not tax. No, that, that's that's done. Yeah. It's good pay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that was. Not, if the guy that Charlie's talking to is not serious about putting the bid on, I think he he was going to contact you. Can can I can I say okay. something, please? I I know this seems like an extreme amount of money for four windows. Again, you've got a courthouse that. Is, is that, you know, that's the apple of Hawkins County. You know, it's a beautiful building. The the details in those windows, you, you like like the space she said, there's 13 panes of glass in each window, and that's all woodwork around that. Um, I struggle to get people to do work for for me oh, yeah, uh, because of the amount of work that's out there and the very few people that does any work anymore we struggle to find somebody uh, i've been in contact with this gentleman for probably we probably started this seven months ago and 
he had to be in great to answer all of our questions. He came to the meeting. He spent time on this bed. And but this is something that just anybody can't do. And he's also on the church. If we put it back out for bed, he may not he may not give us a bed and then there we're gonna he be. Might, he might well, could you hold on to this bed as, I mean do we have to do anything today? We don't have to saying? do anything today, but the amount that he bid on the project is gonna be out. Of course anybody that's gonna come and look at it's gonna undercut him if they want the job. Well they why won't, wouldn't they? May yes. or may not if they don't know what the price is. Well, well, that's all we talking about. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's an open meeting. There, there's six people watching, so six people. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I just feel we need to go ahead and do it. I feel like that we shouldn't. I don't think we should conduct business this way. I don't think that we should call people up during the meeting and ask them about things. And I feel like if these people are serious about something, and they should have already put their bid in. I should be on the ball good enough to do so. We did um, what we're is expected of us to give bids. And if this was something that wasn't that couldn't be dangerous, it's very dangerous. Uh, I wouldn't be so. Uh, I wouldn't be pushing you to try to hurry and make a decision. But again, this started about probably eight months ago. Yeah, it's been a long time. Yeah, he came early. I want to think late spring. Before, it was like at the very beginning of the whole pandemic stuff. And he came and he talked to us. This is a specialized uh, uh, project here. Well, and it's old. And, I mean, all joking aside, I, just, I feel I feel bad. I, I can't even give you a chance you know, not accept it. I think, it, uh, you know, there's no doubt that, uh, of course, this guy, he covered himself. He said, you know, if he didn't get the bid, he was going to get $300 for writing this up. I understand that. And I'd like to see this guy get it. But to me, four wins, that's a well, lot of money. I know. Uh, and I'm good. not, if, if everybody else is for it, fine. But I'm, you know, uh, I'd like to. I really like to see this approved the whole home. commission instead of just us sticking our necks out. I mean, we're going to get some flack over this. I can tell you that right now. As much money as this is. Well, I know we'll stay grown in Church Hill. Yeah. I don't know what we'll be on Have you Have you asked him if he could do any better than this? Sir? I'm not ready. Can we put it out for bed? And that was his bed. Yeah. That's our procedure. That's What's the pleasure of the committee? I think we should accept this bid, of course. Is that fair? That might be my motion. Yes, that's my motion. And I may get knocked down, but. I'll Keith Ballard has made a motion that we accept this bid. Did you hear that? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Is there a second? I second it. Motion made, bud. Like Make an amendment to it that it be sent in front of that if it's in my amendment, say it be sent in front of the entire commission to vote on. Yes, okay. Keith made it. We, we've got a motion by Valerie and a second that we accept this bid, but Keith has made a mo motion to amend this motion that we send it before full commission to vote on. Is there a second to that amendment, Mr. Jesse? You second that. All right, is there any discussion on the amendment? No, that's a good idea. Right. If that's okay. kosher, we can do that. Okay. Uh, all in favor of the amendment to send it before full commission to vote on, say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign? I don't have a, a, a problem sending it to the full county commission. You should go there. But, uh, Go ahead. Well, we we've got original. We've got we can we're going we're going to go back to the original motion as amended and ask that there's any discussion on that. And Charlie, you need to speak. Now would be the time to do so. I would like to ask this committee to allow one week, and I know it's been added. 
or this guy. I don't know. Well, the only thing about that, Charlie, is if we do, and, and I'd like to see get somebody, but if we do, we will have to just not accept this bid. We'll have to turn this bid down and redo the bids. I mean, that's the only way we can do it. We can't just give this guy an opportunity to come in here and underbid this guy because that's not the, and you, the way you do it. And you're talking about getting flack. You know, I feel like we'll get flack if we did something like that. I really do. I'm good at taking it for a full commission, let the full commission vote on it. Well, if, Mr. Thacker, if we do take it before the full commission, it won't go in January because the resolutions are already done unless it's out of order. And, and I don't see an out of order resolution going through for that. So. Well, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I mean, we can, we can try it out of order. But that's another. I'd have to say that the commission's been pretty good lately of doing it out. You know, well, I guess out I wish Dan was forward. there. Another person or two that came that you said or whoever might have come, where they were aware that they needed to turn the bid in, where they made. See, that's what it is run in the paper, right, sir? It was run in the paper when the yeah. day the gentleman come that had spoken with Mr. Brewer, I said, when he called me, the first thing I said was, this is going out for bid. Do you not want to wait until you get the bid specs before you look at it? Because there may be stuff in the bid specs that you don't see when you're up there, you know, looking. When we get the bid specs ready, we can mail it out to you. And he said, no, I, I think I can look at it and you may not have to bid it, but I never need your back from me. And, and again- Would that have been, was it was his name Frankie? Does his dad own the HVAC company? I'm sorry. Does his dad, does he work for an HVAC company? No, that's the guy Charlie's talking to. Okay. Well, that may have been him. It seems like there was something about an HVAC company. As, as I didn't know, I don't know the one we're talking about. I know his dad, his dad, he, he does it by, he, he worked on my heat pump here. That's the reason I know, I know him. I don't know the boy. Um, okay. I, well, I had asked Mr. Uh, there's someone uh, what I can. Yeah, well, go ahead. We're going, we're going to go ahead and you, you're discussing it. We're still discussing, so go ahead and discuss it. Uh, you, you, I recognize you. Can you go ahead? Okay. I know we've got to be good stewards of the county's money, but I think we're, we're, we're doing a bid process. When we advertise for bids and we take and we get the bids and people don't bid and it's not and it's going back and asking other people to come back turn down just because there's only one person put a bid in i think it's going to it'll come back that you know we'll have problems with people bid to the county i think i think it, what you're saying is correct and, and what our process should be is uh either Accept or turn this bid down, and if we turn it down, we'll set the rebid. That's why I'm here today. I'm, I'm here to ask and you to either accept it or to. But I think I think it's excessive amount to do this if if we can't take it for full county commission, and that's and that's the most that's on the floor right now, and whether it fails or whether it passes. But if we can't take it for full county commission. Uh, that makes it, with this amount, that makes it tough for me to vote to do it because, like you said, we've got to be good stewards of the county's money. And I, I just, knowing what I know about it, I know it's not going to be an easy job, but that's a lot, that's a lot of money for four windows. What, what if a window falls out in the next three months and hurts somebody? That's what I'm thinking too. Well, I mean, we need to get it done. We do need to get it done. But, you know, anyway, any other discussion on this motion as amended? If not, sir, do a roll call, please. Rick Brewer. Roll call is for what now? On the motion as amended that we send it to full commission. 
accept the bid with approval by the full commission. That was Keith's amendment. So I, I vote yes. Charlie Thacker? No. Keith Gibson? Yes. Ray Jesse? Yes. Dyer Noyes? Yes. So we'll send this on. Motion carries. We'll send this on to full commission. Are you going to ask for it to be an out of order this month? Uh, well, that's what I was going to. You want to put it in as an out of order, sir? I can't you? put a resolution in. I mean, I don't I'm sorry. You want a best would have to do with it. That's what I'm, but I'm asking her does she want it to go in as an out of order resolution? That's up to you, Mom. I, I think it'll be shot down, but. I think it. I really think it'd be a waste of time. I do too. 